Do you want to learn how to set up Google Shopping reviews? Well, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it for free in this video. Let's go. Google Shopping reviews are a fantastic thing to have on your Google Shopping ads. They provide a ton of social proof, they look great, and they improve your click-through rates. If you're new here, my name is Sam from keycommerce.com. I help e-commerce store owners grow their stores remotely. I make a lot of tutorial videos just like this one. So if you're new here, consider subscribing to see more videos just like this one. Okay, so I'm gonna explain this super simple for you guys. When I was learning this stuff a long time ago, there were no resources out there that explained the process well. Firstly, there are two types of reviews in Google Ads slash Google Shopping. A lot of blog articles out there get you confused because they don't even know what the heck they're talking about. One, there are reviews on Google Search. This is different from reviews on Google Shopping. Of course, we're just gonna focus on the ones for Google Shopping in this video. Okay, so what do you need to do to get your reviews on Google Shopping? One, you need to have 50 or more reviews on your website for your products. Two, you need to sign up in Google Merchant Center for their ratings program. I'm gonna show you how in this video. And three, you need to have a Google review feed in a format that Google accepts. This is a feed of all your reviews in an XML file that Google can import into their system and then display on your shopping ads. Okay, I'm gonna go over the two ways here and then I'm gonna get into how I actually do this for you. So the first way is the free way and this uses Google's reviews collection program to set this up. Okay, the benefit here is that it's free and it's pretty easy to set up. The negative here is that you can't import past reviews. So if you already have reviews on your site that you've worked hard to get from your customers, you can't import these into the program. You have to start collecting reviews from day one. Your old reviews aren't useless, but for the reviews that are gonna show on Google Shopping, they need to be collected from today. The next negative is that it only collects reviews from customers that have opted in. When someone purchases and they go to your thank you page, Google's gonna have a pop-up in a light box that says, hey, do you wanna leave us feedback in the next few weeks? Or something like that. And only the people that select yes are gonna actually get a request to leave a review. This means the amount of reviews you get is gonna be a lot less than if you sent out those emails to every single customer. The next negative is that it does impact the customer's experience of your site and your product and all that sort of stuff. For example, it's not branded. The email that gets sent to them is a Google email asking them for a review, but it doesn't have your brand language, your, all that sort of stuff. Okay, the second way is to use a paid reviews aggregator app on your Shopify store. I prefer this way, even though it costs money, it's super easy to set up and it looks fantastic and it integrates really well into the rest of your store. Like I said, the benefit is it's super easy to set up. The next benefit, it gets sent to every single customer, regardless of whether they opt in or not. You send it to every single customer after they've purchased your product and used it for a little while. It also allows you to customize all the emails and all the branding so it actually matches your brand, your tone of voice, or your logo and fonts and colors and all that sort of stuff, which is really important to delivering a fantastic customer experience. The other big benefit, especially if you are an established store, is that you can import past reviews from other platforms like Etsy, eBay, Amazon, from your past customers that you had before you actually got this app. So it means that you can start off out of the gate with a lot of reviews on your shopping ads. The negative is, is that it obviously costs. You'll have to find a review aggregator that does this for you. The one I recommend all my clients, everyone I know that asks me is stamp.io. I use this for my own stores and for my client stores because it's so easy to set up. It collects all the reviews in a really nice email sequence and it has this review feed option that you can set up with Google Merchant Center to show your reviews on Google Shopping Ads. The problem is to get the reviews feed, which is that XML file to send to Google with all the reviews nicely organized, it means you have to be on the higher pricing tier of stamp.io, which is $200 per month. And I understand that this is a bit steep for you guys out there, especially if you're just starting your store and you don't know if this is gonna work. I honestly don't recommend that, but if you have an existing store that is generating consistent revenue, it is really worth it. Regardless, I'm gonna show you the free way and how I set up with stamp.io in this video. Both work, both are great. There's a bunch of links that you're gonna need for this setup regardless of which way you do it. I'll leave a link in the description to that post that I've written on my website that has these links in there, as well as a tutorial on how to do this in text format if you don't wanna use this video. With that being said, let's get into the video. Let's jump into my computer, let's go. Hey guys, Sam here from keycommerce.com and now we're in Google Merchant Center. Let's get those reviews enabled. Okay, so we go 
over here to growth and then we go to manage programs okay once we're in the manage program screen you have all these extra programs and stuff that you can enable we want to scroll down to the very bottom and then go to product ratings this is what you need to do okay you need to fill out this form here and get approved by Google before they'll let you see and upload and connect in your reviews okay so you need to fill out this form so how many reviews do you have so go to your site check whatever review aggregator you're using uh, and get that in the, uh, and add that in there so and, and add in how many reviews sorry that you have name of your your store your merchant id your merchant homepage url basically fill out all this stuff here it's got all my information <laughs> And then, but you're gonna fill out your own information uh, role. And then do you currently collect reviews on your site? Yes or no, click submit. There you go, that's how you get started. Um, you do need 50 reviews already. Um, and so put that in if you have 50 and then submit and then you're good to go. It does take some time, sometimes a day, sometimes three days in our experience. Once you get reviewed, you'll then be able to see an option in your Merchant Center account to see the reviews section basically. Hey guys, Sam here from keycommerce.com. I'm now on my computer again and I'm going to show you how to activate the Google customer review collection app process sort of thing. So we're in Merchant Center right here. Let's go down to growth and let's go down to manage programs again. So we should have already activated the product ratings. Now we're going to go to the customer review section and then click enable. It's going to give you this agreement here. Make sure you read that. Uh, click I read and then continue once it loads up. Awesome. So now what it does is it gives us this code that we need to go and edit now and put that on our website. Now I've created a blog post for this video. It's in the description. Check the description for that link. Go to the blog post and I've actually edited this code for you. So it's pretty much ready to use. You just need to edit a little things before we put it on your website. Let me pull it up for you one second. Okay, so here we have the code that will be on my blog post here. And it has these variables here that are made by Shopify. So it can pull in the different details. So you see in comparison here, it's very, very similar, but it means for the order ID, it'll pull it in dynamically. So if every single order that someone makes on your website, this gets shown on the thank you page. They don't actually see this code, but there'll be a pop-up and this tells Google the right information that is required to make this whole thing work. So it pulls in all this sort of stuff here. The only thing you need to really change is firstly the merchant ID, really important. See here, it has the merchant ID. Just put in exactly what that is there. So what I would do is copy that and then paste this here. You're gonna have this code here, but it's gonna be the XXX. You're gonna change that to your merchant center um, ID. The other thing is the estimated delivery date. So what this does here is it actually creates the year, the month and the day, but based on when the order was created and then you can add a delay. So if someone orders today, you don't wanna send the review collection email today because then people are going, people are, haven't even received the product yet. So you wanna wait some time. So what I've done is I've created this Google Sheet here and you'll get access to this in that blog post and this is basically a calculator so you can put in so at the moment it's got in seven days here which is just the default in this formula what you can do here is say that even if maybe they get this they always get the product within one day you can change this to three days and then that's the total seconds and then you would just replace that there so that's how long Google is going to wait after someone orders before they send them the review email. Now that that's done, and that's gonna be, you know, you have to think about how that works for your store. Now that that's done, we then copy that code and that's all ready to go. We then pull up our Shopify dashboard right here. And then we're gonna go into settings. We're gonna go into checkout. And then we're gonna scroll all the way down until we see additional scripts. Once you paste that in, that's then gonna be all ready to go. Awesome, fantastic. I'm actually gonna, that was actually a bit of something I was gonna show you in a second, but basically, yeah, there's the code there. And just take note that first time access, this is really, really great thing for Shopify. It means that if someone goes back to review the order and review the thank you page, it's not gonna reset so they receive multiple emails. They only wanna receive one email for their order. And this means that it, this will only be fired if it's the first time someone has reached that thank you page. So that's all good, boom, and then just click save, and then that's, that's activated now and that's everything you need to do to get those reviews sorted. That's all awesome. And then once it, it's uh, verified, once it's it, it starts collecting those reviews, you can actually test to see if your reviews are active 
by going to this URL that will be in the blog post as well and then putting in your store here. So this is one of one of um, the stores that I work with and you can see here that um, they have all these reviews that have been collected, but they're being collected by a review app basically. But if it's being collected by that app with Google, it's going to start showing here. So you can check that for yourself. So there you go. That's how you install the code for the free Google customer reviews collection app. Hey guys, so now I'm in Merchant Center and I'm going to set up the stamp.io product reviews feed straight from stamp.io into Merchant Center. So let's do it right now. So I'm in the dashboard here and now after after filling out that form that you've filled out earlier in this video, you should now have access to product reviews under marketing. This is exactly what we need right here. This is for product ratings. So it says your account is eligible for product ratings. Woohoo! Your star ratings will be displayed on your product listings. So they're on your Google Shopping ads. So let's go here over to product reviews feeds. I had a feed that I added in uh, earlier, but we're gonna create a new one here, just like you would do. The feed name is gonna be stamped.io, scheduled fetch. Awesome, the file name is going to be uh, your need, your, well, here's what you need to get the file name. So basically you need to log into stamp.io. I'm logged into my account right here and then go to this URL. So I'm gonna put this URL in my blog post here. Once you put that in, it then opens up the settings into the SEO section and then you can scroll down here to Google Shopping and if you've upgraded to the plan, you'll be able to access the Google Shopping reviews. Here is your feed URL. See, it's an XML file. So go back, let's put that all the way down here. But the file name is going to be here and it's going to be uh, basically the pub key oh, and .xml. So you should get that last basically that last uh, bit of text there. So boom, all the way to XML and we don't need that dash there. Awesome. So the basically the, uh, the, the daily frequency of fetching it is gonna be daily. That's fine, 12 a.m. That's just when it's gonna fetch it. That doesn't matter too much. And that's gonna be blank and blank. And then you're gonna click create feed. Fantastic. We now have our feed imported like that. And then um, once that goes, um, is added in, it's now processing. So once it takes a few minutes, but you can also click fetch now to fetch that feed. And then it's gonna tell you if there are any issues. Now this is a feed specifically made by stamp.io. So if you do have any problems, you can, uh, they've got really fantastic support over there and I've dealt with them so many times and they're really good at helping to fix these issues with the feed so you can get it set up really quickly. They'll even go in and make edits to your feed, uh, your, your product reviews feed um, to make sure it uh, matches what Google needs. So that's how you set up the stamp.io feed. There you go. Okay guys, so now we've set up Google reviews for our Google Shopping ads. It's gonna take a few days for those reviews to process before they can start showing on your shopping ads. If you found this video helpful and it helped you get set up with Google Shopping reviews, please give it a thumbs up. That tells YouTube, hey, Sam is making content that is helpful for his audience. If you have any questions at all about the process or about building your e-commerce store, leave a comment down below. I answer every single comment, I read every single one, and I'll get back to you really, really quickly on that one. And if you wanna see more tutorial videos just like this one for growing your e-commerce store, marketing, building the store, getting supplies, finding products, please consider subscribing. I make a lot of great content just like this one to help you guys out there build your e-commerce stores. Apart from that, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.